Hello everybody, it's Current Cartoon TV coming to you with another Steven Universe Future Review. My name is Outlaw and I will be your host today and I'm also joined by Gundam. What's up guys? And we also have Red. What's up my dudes? So let's go ahead and jump in right into the first review of this double parter. Uh, the first episode is going to be Together Forever, where the synapse is... Connie has a very clear vision of her future, and Steven wants to make sure he is part of it. So, Gundam, how about you go ahead and give me your likes of this episode? Well, of course, first off, I do love the colors of this episode. The sand, the sky, uh, the other gems, the forest. You know, it's just like very, very vibrant, very colorful. I'm loving the art direction on this episode as well as when you see the beach and like the wo ocean comes in fabulous the build up to the proposal and him getting the cake and everything and getting ready with ruby and sapphire oh man it's oh so it's it's so like uh, i can't describe it but i absolutely loved it and it was a huge build up and my brain was like ah, anxiety but it was great yeah <laughs> And how about you, Red? What did you like about this episode? So this episode, I, again, I enjoyed, but this was heavy. Oh my gosh. It was like anxiety riddled. We're just all, like, I enjoyed it. It's a great story. And it, it really progresses the plot along, like, exceedingly well. But I did, you know, I like the cute phone calls that um, Steven and Connie make, which I didn't know they were, you know, official before. We always kind of like assumed, but now it's like, oh, okay, they're holding hands. They are a couple. Hooray. I get where Steven's coming from with the excitement and setting up this really thoughtful picnic with all these different like memorabilia stuff like that. I thought that was just so sweet and thoughtful. And I like how all the gems are saying, yeah, go for it, go for it, and propose, and the audience is just screaming, no! <laughs> don't do it! That that part was so, like, uh... <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was cringy, but at the same time, you're like, like I was yeah. on the edge of my seat. Uh, Outlaw literally got out of his chair, walked and did a circle, and went back into his chair. I wasn't seeing the, the scene. <laughs> it was oh great gosh. to see how much, like, <laughs> anxiety and stress because like when you when you're right about to tell someone something important it's always that build up that really puts butterflies in your stomach and it was giving me butterflies and us all butterflies yeah it was it was cringy but you know it was well worth it you know steven needed to have that rejection because he's 16 years old and he's still trying to figure himself out and he that he doesn't need someone else to complete him he takes on way too much while also trying to conceal his own feelings so he wants to help others but put but push himself aside so i think it's it's they've done a really great character development so that's what i liked about this episode heavy but really well done well i'm gonna go ahead and go on a little lighter tone here i actually like the scene garnet actually diffuse and go back to ruby and sapphire for a little bit and I love how that Ruby is actually a scoutmaster. Like, <laughs> that's an interesting uh, take. I'm like, huh. Oh, it's so cute. And he even has little badges for everything, like the proposal badge, the drawing animals badge. I'm like, okay, that's cute. And I also like how Ruby nearly starts a fire in the forest when he, she's getting so excited about Steven proposing to Connie. But she has the wherewithal to put it out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep. And... I do like how Steven got everything ready for this spot when they first met. Even the little bracelet that uh, Steven got. That's like how they first met because she dropped her first oh, one yeah. during the parade. And he saved it for her. So he bought a new one and did it. That was really cute. I absolutely love the song that Steven sang to Connie. That was such oh, a cute song. And so really, thoughtful. And it really expressed how, how much he loves her. I actually like the... Uh, the reaction that uh, Connie had when Steven proposed to her. She was kind of like in shock and like didn't know what to do. But she was also being honest to him. It's like, hey, not now. I love that option though. It's it's not it's not a for sure yes or no. It's like, I want to, but later when we are older mm -hmm. and we ha have worked on ourselves first. I right. love it. Because that's how I was at 16. <laughs> I'm like, I thought I needed somebody else to complete me. But then growing up, you know, you learn about yourself. So it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's, cool, it's a cool and experience. I like the fact that Garnet was there for him when he finally emerged out of his hole. He's like, she knew that this was going to happen. But I'm pretty sure that she need, he needed to experience this to actually build himself at the end of the episode. Knowing that Stefani is not going to fill that hole. Agreed. That's in him mm -hmm. right now. 
Agreed, because uh, she even said, she's like, you'll find me later. She knew she was going to be there later, so he, she was kind of telling him, like, hey, you'll see me later. So let's go ahead and go into our dislikes. Gundam, how about you tell me your, your dislikes about this? Well, for dislikes on this episode, I, you know, with the build up, you know, I was stressing out, especially with Steven turning pink like every six seconds, anything, <laughs> anything happens. It added to the tension and, and it was so much anxiety fuel. But my actual dislike is that we didn't get to see what the scouts ended up drawing. Oh, come on. Oh, I wow. wanted to know. Like they brought, they, they had the entire <laughs> scene just wrapped up to be like, hey, let's draw. Let's get this drawing badge. Oh, I can't wait to see what Onion draws. And then no payoff. That's my dislike right Oh there. my gosh. <laughs> Red, um, what dislike did you have? You know, I had none. I liked the heaviness because it is real. It, we're not all, it's not 100% fantasy anymore. It's like, oh, real emotions, real experiences are happening. I really enjoyed it. So no dislikes for me here. I have two dislikes and they're very oh, nitpicky and all that. Why? Is that A, Steven's taking advice from Ruby and Sapphire and B, Steven actually proposed to Connie. He's like, why? He's like, ah! it's like cringeworthy. And that's pretty much what this whole episode was really about. That's like, what 16 year olds are. We're, they're cringeworthy. We all were. <laughs> yes. Gundam, how about what was your favorite scene of this episode? My favorite scene actually was with him talking to Sapphire and her going over like the equations and, and all the thing about how stressful it was going to be. And... Um, and then just washing away and she's like, you can't predict this kind of thing. You know, L love is love. And I thought it was a really nice and thoughtful scene. Do you understand, Stephen? My marriage with Ruby, our fusion as Garnet, eluded my future vision, defied every odd and changed the course of time. We can write equations in the sand all day, but a wave of chance can just come crashing in and wash it all away. Love, it's unquantifiable. How about you, Red? What was your favorite scene? God, that was actually my favorite scene, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved it. Well, my favorite scene was actually Ruby actually starting the forest fire. It was actually kind of <laughs> cute. It's like jumping around, all sighting and all that, and the next thing you know, uh, there's a fire. Steven, 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 Steven! <laughs> Steven, propose! <laughs> oh, and uh, don't, uh, watch the last episode with... Um, Peridot and Steven when they did the whole video on the TV when she gets excited she did the same exact dance that Ruby just did <laughs> ah. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our ratings here Gundam. Give me your ratings I will give this episode a five out of five even with my dislike it was Good. a perfect episode and I could not dock at any points Red how about yours five out of five for me as well That's gonna be a five out of five for me also as also so let's oh, good. go ahead and jump into our next episode of Growing Pains. And the synapse of this one is Steven sees a doctor for the first time. Red, how about you give me your likes of this episode? This episode, I felt, was heavier than the last episode. I slumped in my chair after watching this, but it was so good. <laughs> um, I did like how they picked up from the last episode because it's, it's kind of rare that we get to see that. Usually it's just a one-off and then it just continues forward. This was continuing from Steven's rejection. I like when he's in the doctor's office and Connie's mom is explaining very directly about, you know, what mental health is. And it's bringing a lot of light into this, into this whole new area. They're realizing that mental health is important and they're trying to tell their audience that, yes, it is very important and crucial. He definitely has some PTSD after all that stuff. This was just so heavy and his emotions and stress are, are so large that he's growing f with them. He just can't contain it anymore. That heartfelt scene with his dad coming from the hospital and how he found out that Connie had actually called Greg to come by and say hi or see Steven. So touching. Oh yeah. But yeah. This is heavy. This is really heavy, but I really enjoyed it. And Gundam, how about you give me your likes of this episode? So for this episode, the colors were nice uh, and they were vibrant, but there really wasn't much diversity because it was like a hospital setting. So I can't really, you know, you can't really find many colors in the hospital. So I was I won't dock at that much points. Um, I love the message of this episode and the fact that Steven finally got his therapy. He finally got the talk that he needed to show that it's not just physical pain 
that you go through in life. It's the, how it affects your brain, how it affects your mental health. And, you know, I have to go with, with Red on this. Like, it, it just, they did it very, very well. And I was at, I was in the bottom of my seat as well. It was very, very nice. And uh, I think we all needed this episode too. Mm -hmm. What I actually liked about this episode was that Steven finally did get hit the therapy he absolutely needs. He still needs therapy. That one and done session isn't over. He no, needs a not. lot more. He needs a lot more therapy. And then I actually liked the x-rays of the gems. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Freaking amethyst. Yes, they're having all that food in her stomach. It's like, It's really? a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, it's funny because I think that, you know, they always say, like, you're not supposed to eat before, like, operations and stuff like that. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure they told her that and she did it anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's like, it's not food, though. <laughs> True. These are just and, objects. And I did like how Connie's mother actually finally sat down and talked to Steve and explained what was really going on. Yes, you went through a lot of physical pain and you healed yourself quite well with that. But the mental stress... All the mental pain that he is going through that is what's causing the stress and that's what his body is actually reacting to like this is a life-threatening situation I need to protect and you saw that during the test like even when she was about to hit him with a little what's that little hammer thing on the knee yeah <laughs> it's like it, all of a sudden a bubble appeared around her hand stick to her so red how about you go ahead and give me your dislikes of this episode again I have no dislikes have heavy but man, did we need this. So much plot development. No dislikes for me here. Gundam, how about your dislikes? I, I mean, the episode was really well done. And I don't know, I just feel like this episode went by way too fast. And I think that there were some parts that they couldn't you know, have sped through, kind of. I think they could have sat down a little bit longer in some scenes. Uh, and it could have been paced a little bit better. But that's really the only dislike I had. I have one dislike, and it's a little more of like a nitpick. Did notice how Connie looked back at Steven when Steven thanked Connie for calling his dad. It just looked like that she put a face on, just to show, not to show Steven that she was actually scared. As he did actually was growing inside that small room it, as Connie and Connie's mom was actually stressing him so much that he was growing so big. Yeah, that, that face to me is like she realized what was actually causing all of this and she was like i gotta show a good face for him so that he can kind of de-stress go back down and then i'll leave so that he can get back to normal yeah so but that's really just one little nitpick out of this whole episode i did not like so red how about you tell me your favorite scene um my favorite scene was actually when steven was recanting all of his trauma that we went that he went through because we forget that there has been six seasons right now and a movie and almost every single episode something bad has happened to him we just forget how bad he kind of had it so i mean i think that was my favorite scene just the moment of realization like whoa he has been through a lot no wonder why he has ptsd from all this i guess i kind of freaked out when they canceled my favorite ice cream and then i got attacked by a giant bug monster and i got trapped in a bubble and almost drowned I lost control of my body and turned into a blob of cats. I almost turned so old I died. Amethyst almost died. Pearl did die. Garnet got destabilized right in front of me. I woke up with a black eye imprisoned on a spaceship. Steven, this is serious. Gundam, what's your favorite scene? Uh, my favorite scene was actually with all the different tests that was, you know, done on Steven. I loved, you know, like you said, when they when you hit the knee to do the reflex test, uh, the x-ray, the, you know, him just uh, trying to do the little, uh, doing his height and everything on the, on the scale. I thought that was fantastic and it was very funny. <laughs> and my favorite scene was actually pretty much was on red here the, all the flashbacks. He recalls everything that happened pretty much in the very first season of Steven Universe from Cookie Cat all the way up to Jailbreak. It was actually kind of like made you remember that he has gone through a whole lot. And we think he just gets hurt and bounces right back up and he's ready to go again. But like Connie's mom said, that mental stress, that mental damage did a toll on him. Red, how about you give me your rating of this episode? Again, I'm going to give us a 5 out of 5. I loved it. Gundam. As much as I like this episode and I like the tests, I gotta give it a four out of five. I just, it wasn't perfect to me. I'm sorry. It just, it just, it was just enough to dock at one point. 
I'm actually going to go with you, Gundam. I'm actually going to give this a 4 out of 5. It was a very good episode, but not as good as the first one of this two-parter. So thank you guys once again for listening to our review of Steven Universe Future. And don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and see what you thought of the show, thought of our episode. And don't forget to check down our description. We have our Patreon. We have our Twitter. We have our website, which is www.currentcartoontv.com. And Red, you have some links down there as well. I do. I have a cosplay page on Facebook at Perfectly Red Cosplay. And I'm also on Instagram at Perfectly Red. And guys, don't forget to smash that like button and, and actually subscribe to the channel for more Steven Universe future reviews. Thank you guys once again. And like always, have a good evening. See you guys. Thank you, everyone. Do it. Do it. Do it. Stone Tan is going to have a really fun time. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs>